Let's go. Let's see. What the? Five thousand miles. All right, let's try that. Son of Son a of bitch. A So, I let it sit here just for a minute. Let me hit the brake here. See if it kicks on. It does not. Make sure it's on. Well, I got no radio now either. What's going on with that? No radio either, okay. But I noticed when I was using it before, if I put it in reverse, it kicks on. So the screen still functions, which means to me that it must be an input issue because it changes inputs from the stereo to the backup light or the backup camera when you put it in reverse, it switches inputs. So it has to be something with the input, not the physical screen itself. Uh, as far as LCD, I've hit this screen on off button a couple times. Turn this on and off. Oh, hey, we got music now. And I can actually still change channels if you just touch it. So the screen's working, the touch sensor is working, but for some reason it's not getting the video signal from, I believe around in here, and behind in here has to be where the main brain of this thing is. So what I'm thinking is I'll go ahead and pop the hood and try and just reset it by pulling the fuse and we'll see if that works. Here we go. So let's go ahead and check under our fuse cover here. That's pretty hard to see, but let's look and see what we got. All right, it's not in that fuse box. So I looked around a little bit, and if you go in your trunk, by your subwoofer, you look here, Pull this little tab up. If we pull this up, hopefully get some light. Phone number 37 is the radio, and then there's the media hub console. I'm gonna pull 37 and we'll see if that works. And then I'm gonna pull 38 and see if that works. And uh, I'll be right back with you. Hold on. Okay, so I pulled fuse 37 first, and we will go ahead and see what we get. Nothing. Aww. Still got nothing. Oh, there's radio. I'll push the screen off or on. Nothing. Let me pull the other one, we'll see what happens. Okay, I just did the same thing with that fuse. Another interesting thing while I'm doing that is, a, oh, oh, look what we got here. Hey, let's see if that did it. Lucky there, boys and girls. Now I'm not saying that it's not going to do it again, but I didn't want to have to drive all the way to work and have air conditioning on my butt because I accidentally pushed the button. Uh, when I got in the car, it was pretty frustrating, as you know, with the French toast. You know, it's kind of hard when, oh, please start vehicle. reset my stuff but I got my screen back sweet now another thing I noticed was uh, if you look under your see this one here is probably better to see it but if you look under your fuse covers sorry for running around here 
look under your fuse covers and you kind of zoom in this must be from either a demon or a hellcat because look 24 if it was police 6.2 liter engine this has the 6.4 so there's another one non 6.2 so they just make these random but I just thought that was kind of cool seeing the police stuff on there and the uh, 6.2 but that was uh yeah that was a pretty simple fix so let me go put this back in here and so the fuse that I pulled that was the magic one just to get it back up and going I know some people have had to replace their radios but right there pull it out for 20 seconds I popped it back in bingo we're back in the game for today we'll see how long it lasts keeps doing it I'll have to do the last thing on the planet I ever want to do and that's go to the dealer but for today we got our screen back no more burn my butt no more making my butt too cold it's gonna be happy so is my steering wheel get back to destroying thanks for watching the video guys I appreciate your support if you like these videos if it helps you at all let me know comment down below please click the like button subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully it's not another issue, but here we go. Thanks.